Hi, Mr. Mac. Where's What's up, Alex? ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Alex Mac here, and I'm with the one, the only. Mel the eighth. Mel the eighth. <laughs> okay, so maybe there's seven others, but there's only one you, you, though. Yeah, there's only one me, other than my dad, who has the same name as me. He stole that shit from me. I hate when that shit happens. It's messed up. Okay, so, Shove. I feel like I heard you perform that at MacDeezy's event, right? You did, actually. I did, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did that over there. A lot of energy in that. Is that something that you... Ooh. Oh, what the <laughs> f- We're in start? danger. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate. <laughs> All right. Shove, I heard you perform that at MacDeezy's event. Uh, always high energy? Or where would you qualify your music direction? I like to just keep shit moving but i like to make sure that i like to listen to that was mm. my whole thing that's why i like started music in the first place because i hear so much shit on the radio and like so many songs that i just i just can't really be fucking with something like i might as well just do it myself right you know and at a point i started learning how to produce and then i got into like my mixing and my mastering because my shit was boy it was ass like two cheeks ass like it was, it was horrible but <laughs> you know it got there eventually so here we are yeah, I kind of miss that part because I produce a lot of my own stuff too. So I really appreciate the the time and you know energy, the mixing part, like you said, right? You could spend all day just sitting there mixing, trying to get the levels right. Should um, take longer than the production sometimes. Exactly. What What are some of your inspirations then, from a production standpoint? A production standpoint, yeah. crazy ass Kanye. I heard it. Obviously, yeah. Lil J Cole. You know, I like rock music a lot. Okay. Bless the Fall, Pendulum, you know, that's more like EDM-ish, but, you know, shit like that. I listen to a lot of different things, and they just all come together as a culmination of, of high-energy, fucking bombastic shit. Bombastic. Yeah, big side-eye. Big side-eye. <laughs> <laughs> what was um, the second song? Not Platonic? Yeah, Not Platonic. Yeah, unreleased, right? Yeah, very unreleased. Oh, my gosh. It's it's a it's a part of a project that's been in the works for literally years now. But once I get the visuals out, it'll, it'll come out. You'll you'll see when it when it's out. But yeah, that song alone, I found a Bulgarian folk singing. Oh yeah, I love the random foreign <laughs> sample, bro. It works every time, bro. It yeah. works every time. Like a th- like an hour long video. I'm just watching through the whole thing. I'm like, this this is it. But yeah, that song it's it's all about just high energy and just being like being the guy, you know, at, at a point. But it's just a fun song, something you can listen to, bang it in the car, big bass. It's the kind of shit I like, you know. Hmm. Sounded like, at least from um, segments of definitely the first song, that you still like like the kind of mix the candy or the medicine with the candy. Seems like you still like to apply a little bit of a conscious theme to it. Yeah, the first song especially, I feel like Shove, Shove is a song, it's about it's about uh, alcohol abuse, actually. Mm. You might not expect that, but that's no. what the shove and the pushing is. The sho- shoving and pushing of your stomach when you're getting fucked up and you feel that shit hmm. inside of you. But it's in the sense of like almost an abusive relationship. She'll never love me back. Push, push, shove, shove. Damn, I didn't put a bomb in me type shit, you know? It's, hmm. it's a little bit of both. But, you know, I like to keep a little bit of thought into my music because that's what I used to do all the time. But, I mean... At a point, I'm like, I don't even want to listen to that shit no more. <laughs> you know, I like, I, like, I like some good hype shit sometimes. You know, it's good to have the, the conscious stuff, but I like to make my singles and stuff like, you know, things you can just keep playing. So, so what, what's next for you as an artist? What's next is trying to get this fucking album out, man. It's, Which one? It's going to be called Melody. Melody. Yeah, like Mel Overdose. And mm. it's, it's going to be some, some craziness, man. I got 14 tracks on that thing. It's going to be a lot of, from top to bottom, it's going to be multiple different genres and just an exploration of, of the mind of Mel. All self-produced? You know, all self-produced, yeah. Beautiful, man. Yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope everybody's ready for it. It's going to be mind-blowing, I I'm hope. I'm excited, bro. hope I blew up some brains. It'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, safely, right? I mean, Yeah, you know, safely, with consent. Yeah, not the old, uh, what was the CeeLo Green video, right, with the cell phone? <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got you to gotta, you gotta make sure you, y'all click it, you know, so it's not on me. Yeah. It's your click, not mine. So, Hell yeah. <laughs> where are you at, bro? Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram or Twitter, Mel with the period, you can probably even type in Mel the eighth. It should work everywhere. Not the seventh, the eighth. Yeah, not the seventh one. Don't don't go with the ninth one. That's t- off limits. That's next. Yeah, yeah, facts. TBD. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, find me on all platforms. Mel the eighth as well. You know, I'll be there. You'll find me. You'll see me. Beautiful. Let's do that little pose at the end, right? Do. Dope. Cool. Yeah.
Much appreciated. Sorry for breaking your mic. <laughs> That's okay. I'll break it later. Hi, Mr. Matt. Where's Alex?